Good evening and thanks for joining us. One teen is dead and three others are injured after a horrific crash in Souk. It happened just after 10 o'clock this morning, closing down the road for most of the day. It turns out the vehicle being driven was stolen overnight. Now at least two of the teens involved are facing charges. Kylie Stanton has our top story. Loaded onto stretchers and into an ambulance as a helicopter circles above. This is the result of a massive single vehicle crash along West Coast Road. The car stolen in the early morning hours. The marks on the road indicate that the vehicle was coming down the hill at an excessive rate of speed and lost control coming into the corner. Uh, went into a side yaw, I believe, and then ro rolled and flipped in the ditch and it's landed on its roof. Yeah, I ran over there right away just to see what happens. Witnesses rushed to the scene, finding four people 15 and 18 years of age. A couple people um, just helping the people that got out and then a couple people down in the car trying to see if they could help the people that were stuck. Emergency crews arrive, airlifting a woman to Victoria General Hospital with suspected head injuries. Two men are taken by ambulance. The remaining passenger, belted up in the back seat, is confirmed dead. The coroner arrives on scene and the body is extricated. Right now we still have a person deceased in the car that we have not confirmed an identity for. Now it's a criminal investigation. Two men are currently in police custody facing charges. We have arrested uh, two people for possession of a stolen auto. The car was stolen from Souk, we believe, earlier this morning. The, uh, we believe that the occupants of the vehicle are unknown to the owner of the vehicle. But given the circumstances, it could be even more serious for the driver. The evidence indicates that he could be uh, looking at serious uh, charges such as criminal negligence causing death or dangerous driving causing death. Forensic investigators are searching for physical evidence before clearing the scene. The name of the deceased will not be released until notification of next of kin.